Hello everyone, it's been a while. I'll delve into where I have been in the past year or two and share the plan for the next few weeks. In the meantime, this is a quick 3 hour portrait painting of Jenna Ortega using Frank Riley's method. If you want to learn more about this method, I will provide some links in the description box and in the corner up there for a detailed explanation. The past year or two have been a bit rough for me in real life. Many things happened and I won't get into it right now. Let's focus on us as artists for now. We have witnessed how AI art has transformed many things, especially for artists. The internet as a whole and platforms like ArtStation or DeviantArt are flooded with AI generated art, making it challenging to find the traditional artists out there. It's heartbreaking but inevitable. I have observed this trend since the early 90s with AI generated art, but no one expected it to reach this level where we see nowadays. I spent about 9 months experimenting with AI art to understand its capabilities and limits. Honestly, what I observed at the end of what I call the soulless perfection. Initially, I thought no one could distinguish between the AI art and the artist's work. However, after a year or two, people started to recognize the difference. This doesn't mean it will always stay this way. It might get even better and better in the future, of course. But I believe humans have the ability to connect with things created by other people on a higher conscious level. Whether it's subconscious or magical, I don't know. But it gives me hope that despite how advanced AI becomes, people will still recognize and appreciate the efforts of artists. However, this doesn't mean the return of the pre-AI era. That will never happen. We need to adapt just as we did before transitioning between the traditional art and the digital art. It didn't kill the traditional art. We adapted to the new medium very well and kept both mediums alive. There will always be market for the AI art, but it won't overshadow the traditional way of drawing. Drawing skills have been ingrained in our DNA since we draw on the cave walls thousands of years ago. It will always be in us to learn and experience the impact of drawing on ourselves and others in the future. Art isn't just about finishing the piece and selling it. It's a medium through which we can communicate with the world. It serves us first as a healing device for ourselves. The whole journey from the anxiety before we start drawing, the excitement when we learn something new, to the euphoria when we finally finish a piece can never be replaced by a click of a button. Every time I finish an AI experimental art, I felt bad as an artist. It felt like I missed the entire journey of creating the piece and just skipped to the end. It's like watching a movie and you just skip to the ending of the movie. It didn't provide the same satisfaction from drawing my own art. If you ever felt the range of emotions during and after creating a piece of art, you will understand that art is more than just a finished piece. It's a journey. And the finishing point is just the cherry on the cake. That doesn't mean we won't be able to implement some of the aspects of AI to help our own work or to refine it. Of course not. As long as you consider AI as a tool to create your own art, not a device that creates the art itself, you will be fine as an artist. Now why I'm talking about this now? I received so many messages online and from my students that I teach expressing frustration with AI art. It doesn't matter anymore to learn about art when you just can click a button and get what you want. I understand it. I felt the same frustration myself too. However, looking at the current market, concept artists are still working. Artists are still doing commissions and we will still get asked to draw storyboards for ads and movies. Now, does it mean it will last forever? I don't know. But I know we will adapt as we always have. Art is a healing tool. Even if we don't use it to benefit financially in the future, no AI will replace its powerful effect on ourselves and others. Learning the skills to draw and paint has enormous health benefits for your own brain and body, especially as you grow older. You might say you just want to make money, you don't care about the other benefits. Well, there are between 10 to 20 million artists around the world still making money from their craft. If you add 3D modeling and animation to your art, you can double or triple your income. Artists won't be working at McDonald's anytime soon, don't worry about that just yet. The world will always need human input, especially when it comes to the entertainment business. Also lately, AI art has been losing some shine as days go by, especially when people started to recognize the difference between it and a piece done by an artist, and especially in video games, movies, and everyday life. So learning art will always be there, and artists will always adapt. And that's why I have come back, especially now, to resume my courses online and add more to the library of free tutorials I have here. Not only that, I have even more passion to continue my videos than I did before. Not to mention all the messages I received over the past year or so asking for more videos and subjects, which really made me happy that there are still passion for this, still a need to learn and to explore the journey of art. So what am I coming back with? 
Now I have decided to talk about perspective after covering the first steps of drawing like grid methods and drawing using basic shapes and so on. I believe perspective is the next logical step, but it's a vast subject that can be covered in one video. So I have divided it into three parts, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. I will provide more details about this in the intro video for the mini series soon. In total, I'm working on over 100 videos to tackle the subject of perspective. Yes, you heard it right, 100 videos. I have almost completed 34 videos for the intro level, including drawing, scripting, and half of the voiceover are already done. I will need to add the voiceover for the rest, but I will start posting them next month. Alongside the perspective mini series, I want to revisit old videos and remaster some of them, such as the Andrew Loomis and Frank Riley portrait drawing tutorials. I might also continue the figure drawing series and the top 50 mistakes series. I'm actually full on hype right now to go back to posting. I know many of my colleagues and larger artists channels stopped posting after the whole AI debacle, but if you stop posting because of any of that, I really hope you come back to posting your art. Never get discouraged. Artists have stood the test of time for thousands of years and will do so for thousands more. I promise you that. As for the painting in front of us, I'm putting the final touches on the portrait. It felt so good to finish the whole thing in one setting. And it felt like 5 minutes to me, when in reality it took like over 3 hours. If only you could see the big smile on my face when I finished this portrait. It was such a good session, mentally and physically. And here it is, the final portrait of Jenna Ortega. Well, this is it for this video. Let's call it a comeback video. Hopefully the first of many to be posted on this channel soon. With that said, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section and I will reply to them as soon as possible. To get notified with the upcoming videos and series, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.